Hello, and welcome to Meshtastic Designer. In our last video, we explored what Meshtastic Designer is and the many benefits this powerful online tool offers. If you missed it, don't worry. You'll find the video link in the description below. Today, we're diving into the essentials of getting started. We'll walk you through the process of building your own custom GPS Meshtastic node step-by-step. -step. Ready to get started? You can access the Meshtastic Designer by clicking the banner on store.rackwireless.com or going directly to meshtastic-designer.rackwireless.com. Let's get started. Click Start to begin building your Meshtastic node. In the future, Meshtastic Designer will connect to Rack ID. This will help you save your work or load customized firmware if needed. Now, this is not implemented yet. Meshtastic Designer supports two modes, choosing modules based on device roles and applications or manually selecting modules in expert mode. We'll begin with the first option. In this step, choose the role of your Meshtastic node by selecting its functions or applications. For example, selecting acceleration indicates that your device needs an accelerometer sensor, typically used for GPS trackers. You can also pick applications like air quality monitoring or functions like LoRa or GNSS GPS. For our demo, we'll select acceleration and GPS. Once you've made your selections, click next. LoRa technology operates on free spectrums globally, but these frequencies differ by region. You can select the frequency in two ways. If you know your country's range, choose either 800 MHz or 900 MHz directly. This saves time and ensures compatibility. If you're unsure, simply select the country or region where you'll use the device and we'll configure the correct frequency for you. Typically, 9ATX MHz is used in regions like the USA, Brazil, Australia, Southeast Asia, and Canada, while 8ATX MHz is common in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Next, choose the region where your device will operate. This ensures the LoRa frequency matches the regulations in your country. For our demo, we'll select UK. Then, press Configure. The system will pre-configure your Meshtastic node with the necessary modules based on your selections. Once configured, you'll see your design in a clear 3D view. You can rotate and zoom to examine every angle, ensuring your design looks and functions as expected. The system has automatically selected compatible modules, including the baseboard, sensors, and interfaces. Even with pre-configured modules, you can manually add or remove components. The designer ensures compatibility by graying out unavailable options. For example, if the mini baseboard lacks a slot for Ethernet, the option will appear unavailable. Now, let's add an enclosure to complete the device. Choose from available options based on your board configuration. For our demo, we'll pick the Unify enclosure in gray. With the Enclosure Lid Open feature, you can see how the board fits inside. All dimensions are 100% accurate, ensuring a perfect match with real modules and enclosures. Then click Purchase. This complete device is ready to ship. Now that we've completed the Choose by Device Role option, let's take a moment to recap the two approaches available in Meshtastic Designer. Choose by Device Role is ideal for users who know what they want to build, using natural language and application tags like GPS Tracker or air quality monitor. This approach simplifies the process and helps you create a device quickly. On the other hand, expert mode is designed for advanced users familiar with Meshtastic and WizBlock. It allows for manual module selection and is perfect for creating complex or multifunctional Meshtastic nodes. Let's now explore expert mode. This approach lets you skip the functional selection step and build your device step by step starting with the baseboard and moving through core modules, sensors, interfaces, and enclosures. Let's dive into expert mode by building a multi-sensor Meshtastic node. This device will be capable of measuring motion, environmental conditions, and electrical current, all housed within a protective enclosure. Let's get started. First, we select the baseboard. In this demo, I'll choose the dual I.O. baseboard, 
which supports more than six sensor slots and two additional I.O. slots, making it ideal for a multifunctional setup. Next, let's add the core module. The RAC4631 is a WISBLOCK core module that supports MeshTastic customization. This will serve as the brain of our MeshTastic node. Here, you can also choose your country's frequency range. In the sensor category, start with slot A. Here, I'll add a three-axis accelerometer sensor to enable motion detection. The 3D view clearly shows where the sensor is placed on the baseboard. Now, let's move to slot B. I'll select a temperature and humidity sensor to monitor environmental conditions, such as localized climate data. Slot F is reserved for specific sensors. I'll add an environmental sensor here to enhance the node's ability to measure air quality or detect gases. Next, I want my MeshTastic node to measure electrical current. From the I.O. category, I'll select the appropriate sensor, which is available and seamlessly integrates into the configuration. For future expansion, I could also add an I.O. board module if needed. Finally, I'll add a display module to show messages or device status. The 3D view allows me to inspect its placement from all angles. In this case, the height doesn't fit well with the current setup, so I'll remove it. With the modules configured, let's move to the enclosure category. The medium-size Unify enclosure fits perfectly with this configuration. I'll also select a mounting plate to secure the baseboard inside the enclosure. Some plates come with onboard antennas for Bluetooth and LoRa, offering additional functionality. Once your design is complete, click Purchase to order your MeshTastic node. Rack Wireless will deliver it pre-installed with MeshTastic firmware, ready to use. In the future, we'll add custom enclosure options for even greater flexibility. To recap, we explored how to build your MeshTastic node by application examined its 3D view, and discussed expert mode for advanced users. If you want to try MeshTastic Designer today, just visit meshtastic-designer.rackwireless.com or scan the QR code to learn more and get started. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.